Welcome to the Trading Lounge and the Commodities Report, but starting with the US dollar index here, as the US dollar has a certain pull on commodities as it's traded in US dollars. So we are looking at um, the market at 100 here, a major trading level, and I would expect the market to be vibrating here for quite some time, which will obviously in turn uh, offer support to uh, various commodities. So we've been looking for wave, well, wave three and wave four here, and uh, now uh, wave five completing up here. Now, even if we've made a mistake, the uh, you know we could end up with uh, uh, some type of little correction here and one more sort of high here. But the main point is is that we do expect the market down uh, in due course. So. Um, that being the case, we can see already from uh, these current little pullbacks here that the uh, support that's coming in for gold, for instance, and, uh, and some of the other various commodities. So we need to be a little bit patient here and we need to see if uh, eventually that the, this market finds the 100 as the resistance and uh, works lower from that point there because if that's the case then we'll be looking at supports coming in for various commodities so very important uh, the gold market for instance at 11,500 finding support here uh, we need to talk about this a little bit because this uh, this pattern across here uh, is corrective is bearish corrective so this little move up here is in three waves, so it's corrective. So it makes all of this corrective. Now, it is a wave four. It could develop into a triangle in terms of an A and a B and a C and a D and an E and then further down. It could also just rise back up to here, 61.8% at 1158 or 1160 tops and then roll over from here or we could end up with a five wave sequence up here in terms of a larger ABC pattern, which would be an A wave to here, a B wave all the way over to here, and a C wave moving back up level with the A wave in five waves and then rolling down from there. So uh, we are expecting one more new low to come into play here, and that would be in line with the US dollar uh, index doing its thing at 100. So. Uh, you just need to be a little bit uh, mindful uh, of this, but um, yes, it's just something that we need to work th work through. And you know, I think that you know, if the U.S. dollar does peel away from 100 and head lower uh, in due course, and we can get another low in here just to complete this third, fourth, and fifth here, then we know that um, we can look at trading long in this market. Uh, so as tempting as it is at the moment with a little bounce off there and support coming in, we just need to be careful that uh, we're not sort of lured in. Now, the other thing too is that if we have made a mistake, then this is where the mistake would, would be rectified at 11.65. Support on this level here, we could start building a long trade into the upside, but it would have to be a good solid tested support and only a very small position would be here with the view of adding at uh, 11.72 and building from that point. So we really need to allow this to play out. So there's no change in this story uh, as uh, so far. The copper market, uh, it's already in group two, uh, in this case, uh, 265. So before with gold, we're looking at 11.65. It's the same sort of thing. This is a minor group to those 265, 272, and 280. Uh, because as I mentioned before, because we've got this particular three wave pattern here, we were looking for a high here, but we know that this is all bullish corrective here. It may come down here first, but we should still see a new high here. So uh, in its own way, it's remaining steady and it's remaining positive uh, for the time being. So there's no sort of change here. We're looking at BHP uh, finding a low uh, around the 30. Um, the energy sector is still down, like Santos still needs to make new lows. <clears throat> um, but we can get support for just the, you know, just the uh, the, the mining as such uh, from from this point. Um, yes, but we can't confirm that just yet. The oil market, 
uh, should be on track uh, for moving lower here. Now, um, what we're looking for here is uh, five waves down from wave four. So wave four can be on this point here. And we're looking down at one and two and third wave unfolding. There'll be a fourth and a fifth wave coming down to this point somewhere in here. We'll get to that when we get there. Um, but in the meantime, we're just working uh, this third wave down, which we're looking for five waves in the third wave. And we also to know that, um, you know, the old lows over here at 43, 43.57 area, so, you know, 4350, there's going to be some support coming in there. There's going to be support at 43, 42 and 41. That's where the orders, the main orders are going to be sitting here and we'll be picking that up now. So we're at 43 at this low here. So I expect more bounces to come in through here. So yeah, look, it will work lower. It will be choppy uh, and the trend is still uh, lower into 40. Now, <clears throat> the grains, okay, so uh, soybeans, uh, wheat and corn, uh, the US dollar index may come in and bring support for these too, so which we are seeing in wheat. I very much like to see soybeans, wheat and corn all doing much the same thing, but at the moment we've got soybeans and corn soft and wheat uh, showing some strength to the upside, which has even flicked us a trade to the long side. But the other two markets we're uh, looking at being on the short side. I'll just find my uh, so um, on soybeans here. Um, we've got our stop up here. We're short at nine nine three. You may have added a nine seven uh, six area through here. Um, but I'm actually thinking we'll look at this tomorrow, but in this in this particular case here, we may bring the stop down onto this uh, figure here to get break even. So the high is 977. So maybe just above that there will bring the stop down. Um, the reason for that is because I just want to go and have a look at, share some things with wheat at the moment. So wheat has made a new high above its previous weekly high here. So it's basically triggered us long. Now, it doesn't mean that wheat is in the right space going long and soybeans and corn are okay going short. Um, but what it does do, it's it does chuck a spanner in the works because we don't have it going short with the other two markets. So uh, obviously one of them is right. I mean, wheat could be leading to the upside and the soybeans and corn just need to finish and make one more little new low and then they will reverse too and this can be based off the US dollar uh, index. Uh, so um, yeah that's the, the all the wave counts for, for these have all got slightly different counts but if this market is leading and it probably is in its own way because it was one of the markets that made a new low below here yeah so uh, I mean, corn didn't make that low. Corn, with its correction up here, is is still up in this area through here. It's never actually came come down this far. So we could certainly have a our first impulse wave moving to the upside here. So we'll allow the move here to move up through here, even though we're long in this at the moment, being triggered long. Uh, looking at um, a, a correction after five waves to the upside. And then we'll look at this, um, how it's what this movement is in terms of correction or not. Uh, if it is a corrective pattern, then we'll look to add onto the long side here. So you can see my concern when we're looking at soya beans, and I'll go to corn now as well. Um, with corn, we've got this move up off the bottom here. We've been short here, so we had our stop at 393. Um, so I'm suggesting that we bring our stop down to 387 here, okay, um, which is not quite below this, above this high here, which is at seven, 374, 375. So I want to bring the stop uh, to a point uh, that, you know, if it, if it came up, there would be a change in trend. So with that in mind, forgetting all about this here, what I wanted to do here was pretty much just bring 
the 387 which is which is here so if this move here came uh, all the way up through to here then we would be you know then it's really moving back into the supply zone here so it's really either got to fail uh, you know at 383 here that would probably be about right here um, so I've kept the stop out of the way in terms of sort of Elliott structures uh, as such but um, at the same time uh, I've moved the stop down uh, from being way up here to down at 387 so we've brought it down uh, somewhat and getting closer to to break even but there's not a problem in putting the stop at 386 above uh, that uh, below that or even exiting at now at 378 and taking a small profit or break even uh, come what may now as I just mentioned we've got two spanners in the works one is the US dollar index um, but the uh, didn't bother me too much but it's the wheat that certainly concerns me because it certainly made headway to the upside and we have moved off our lows uh, here as well. The copy market uh, has also shown a little bit of strength there but uh, once again we were expecting uh, that uh, as a wave green wave four here that will pull back to the black wave four of one lesser degree and then move down but we are looking and searching for a low here as well but I don't think that we would be looking to shovel money into this particular market until we've got 150 as support or somewhere up there do you know what I mean unless we see a nice structure emerging here we may be able to scale in a little bit but we want to be above that number there before we move into it and you know thing is is that you know we've if if we get support here then the bigger picture is for this high here to be taken out so there's a long road to be had here so there's no need to panic and get in you know too early on, on this one uh, the cotton and the cocoa are sort of showing the same uh, same patterns which is uh, bearish and they're both not quite finished to the downside yet so we were looking at this being wave one and two here and then one, two, three, four, and five down here for the third wave. But also it could be the low two as wave C in three waves down here. So we need to be a little bit mindful uh, of that here because it can push up from here. But we'll need to assess that once we get there. And also seeing one of those assessments would be a move back above uh, this level uh, here, the wave four of one lesser degree. So if we see support on that level, we expect the market to move down here, then back up to here uh, and then down here. But if we get support, tested support on top of this consolidation here, then we need to be long uh, on a signal from that point there. So we're not ready here either. We're still in this trend to the downside and we need to allow it to play out. And this is the same for Coco as well, even though it's quite a long way down. One of the things here is that we're looking for a retracement from this high down to the 61.8 retracement level. And it's reached that, in fact, it's gone slightly past that as well. Um, but at the same time, now we need to allow this, this structure down here to play out uh, in its five wave sequence. And then we need to look at a corrective move back up through here. We may even trade that uh, long back up here yet. I'll just see how the other markets are going at this particular time so it is still still you know it, it well this particular wave structure sort of got me by the short and curlies a little bit because um you know we had we had we were, we, the best fit is five waves down here this pull back to the 50 60 percent retracement level it did it quite fast it it pretty much displayed an impulse wave here which had thrown me out a little bit um, and it still could go either way even though it's moved past its 61.8 retracement level it still could be a bullish pattern here in terms of uh, uh, up for one and back for two here and moving up through here so that's why it interests me once this structure down here is complete and it does start moving up for this one here we may take a risk and uh, trade long here if the other markets are going to be moving up as well in in line with, with that um, anyway we just need to do some more work on that and see where this market sitting at this stage it's no point in going short here because um, 
well the structure's finished you only need to look at the structure here visually you can see the strength in the middle here well that's obviously the third wave isn't it so we're, we're sort of diminishing into the end of this structure here so we just need to allow it to play out if we get support back on 2800 then we can look to build in some contracts on that 2800 and 2000 uh, 830 and 50 and so on uh, at that point uh, so um, yeah let's just see if it if it uh, finds its low and and, uh, and, and follows the others uh, yeah so nothing really to do in this one here either so just coming back and rehashing a little bit uh, on the US dollar index here it is quite possible that this is the the, the top in in play here and if not we've got uh, one more little high to, to play out through here uh, and then we'll just watch this but as it stands at the moment this can certainly be five waves developing down here a counter trend here and another five here so there'll be a reference point here that will be uh, that will be important and um, you know if if this move down here comes here then obviously we're going to see uh the commodities push up from that point so just even pulling this in on, on the hourly chart or following it on the um on the fx section uh would be quite sort of valuable as a um you know as an indicator for some of these markets all righty cheers <laughs>